guys welcome back to the channel today i got a new video for y'all man so today the day has finally come to pick up the motor man so we are here in arkansas right now and um today is the day to finally get the motor man i drove here yesterday so about a seven hour drive on the way up here i stopped by Kuntz. so Kuntz is the company that basically does all the hardcore engine work for gpi um and whatnot so i stopped by there since it was on the way anyways i had to pick up a part from them actually um so that was the reason of stopping by there but that was a pretty cool experience um that's where basically man all the hardcore engine work goes down um it gave me a tour of the place and it was, it was just very interesting man not at all what i expected and i was actually um it, it just wasn't what i was expecting man but it's cool though you know, it's super cool. It's a very small place. I was expecting, like, some big-ass fancy building and, you know, all this crazy shit. But it was the opposite, man. Small little buildings. Two small little buildings. Um, obviously, the equipment is very, very expensive um, equipment. Um, but just two very small buildings, you know. It reminds me of, like, like I'm trying to think, man, how to describe it. Like, small town like small town type stuff man like i don't know like if you've seen that place so you would think that it's not a place that is putting out the kind of motors that those guys are putting out so it was crazy you know what i mean um but it was just a cool experience and uh you know now today we're gonna go and actually pick up the engine from gpi pick up the headers pick up the what else torque converter and carbon fiber doors so um i'm excited man finally fucking getting this stuff and um tomorrow we're gonna be driving back so tomorrow saturday sunday hopefully we're gonna be putting in the engine so i do i gotta see if i can find some oil um the oil that i want to run gotta see if i can find some by then probably not which if that's the case then we'll put the engine in sunday and then um i'll just have to wait on the oil to actually start the car but that's not that big of a deal, you know, the main thing is just getting it in and all that. So, um, super excited about that. And, um, I guess, I guess I'll tune back in, man, whenever I get the, uh, whenever I get the engine and stuff. I don't think I want to really record actually at GPI just because, you know, it is a business, you know, and like that is those guys' jobs. So, I mean, I don't really want to just sit there with a camera in their face all the time or anything like that, so... Probably not going to record actually talking to nobody or anything like that. But um, once I pick everything up, then I'll show you all everything. And um, that's pretty much that, honestly. But All right, guys. So I know it's pretty windy right now, so I apologize. But I'm here at Summit. Like I said, I didn't record anything at, um, at GPI or anything like that. But I'm here at Summit on my way home. Had to stop by here because I needed oil and I needed flex plate bolts. So... Um, I didn't think about it till on my way back, but GPI didn't give me my old flex plate bolts, which you're probably supposed to replace them whenever um, whenever you remove the flex plate. But um, anyways, I didn't get my old ones back, so I needed some. So Summit luckily had some. So I bought some ARP flex plate bolts and I bought oil. So now we're good. Should be able to put the motor in. So I'm gonna go ahead and show y'all everything that I got real quick. And then I'm gonna drive home and we are gonna put this thing in. All right, so we got the engine, headers, uh, the other headers over there somewhere. So there's the header, uh, torque converter, miscellaneous stuff with my flex plate. But here's the engine, man. Here's the engine, little baby cube, GPI 416. Um, yeah, and then here's the oil, and then the rest of the flex plate bolts, they're in there somewhere. Uh, oh, they're right there on top. So I went ahead and put one in just to make sure that they were the right ones, and they are, so we're good to go, man. And then inside the truck, I have the carbon doors. So let me show y'all those real quick. So these are the carbon doors. See, you got them in there right there. So now... Gotta drive back, man. Gotta drive back to Austin and put all this shit in, man. All right, so now we're heading home. Shout out to Summit, man. My first time ever coming here. Very cool experience. I've never been here before. Always wanted to stop by, so this gave me a good reason to stop by. 
they have what I needed and now let's go put this motor in. Alright guys, so this is like a few weeks later from when we were on our way home with the engine. Last clip y'all saw should have been me at Summit that was picking up some um, flywheel bolts, which I messed up on that too. But flywheel bolts and oil. So I bought flywheel bolts. Me not really thinking a flywheel is for a manual transmission, a flex plate is for an automatic transmission. So these bolts were a little bit too long and it wasn't allowing the flex plate to go fully against the motor like it's supposed to. So I had to order different bolts, uh, GM bolts, but also uh, John didn't end up coming that night. So really we didn't make very much progress at all. I didn't even get the engine in until like a couple weeks later. We tried a few different times getting the engine in and we were unsuccessful and turns out the torque converter wasn't quite in all the way. So it wasn't allowing the engine to sit flush with the transmission. So that's why we couldn't get it in. So ended up figuring that out, got the engine in, no problem. And then literally the week that we got it in, I started working on it like every day after work, just trying to get a little bit done here and there. Pretty much got it fully assembled and um, went to pour fuel in the car. Or actually, hold on, let me take a step back. So when we were, when I was putting on the headers, driver's side, no problem. We'll go to put on the passenger side. Keep in mind, these are brand new Texas Speed headers. Passenger side, the flange is all warped, all warped. And these are brand new. Granted, I've had them for a long time. I just never put them on because the car has been down. So um, I had GPI weld bigger collectors and stuff on the bottom. But as far as the flanges at the top of the header where it meets the motor, GPI didn't touch that. But they were warped and I could not bolt a header to the head because it was so warped and it was a huge gap that would have had a massive exhaust leak. So ended up having a guy that actually works at Texas Speed fix that for me. He did charge me, but it's fine. You know, he did a good job. He didn't even have to come here to test fit it on the car or nothing, man. He welded a new flange on and it fit perfect. So got pretty lucky with that. That guy did a good job, man. Shout out to him. Um, so got the headers on got basically the whole engine and everything assembled coils on and all that good stuff go to pour fuel in the car got a huge fuel leak and i thought maybe the fuel neck was cracked but basically what it was was when i took out all the evap stuff i also took off the hose that runs from the fuel tank to uh there's a like a, a overflow port basically on the fuel neck so it runs to that fuel neck and then also to the evap canister so I took that out because I thought it was all evap stuff that I was getting rid of and I didn't realize that that went to the fuel neck. Um, so basically when I was pouring fuel, it was just dumping right out of that overflow port. So I ended up having to buy the new hoses for that. So after I figured that out, I was like, all right, let me at least go ahead and throw coolant in the car, do the oil change that way. At least that part of it's done. Go to pour fuel in, uh, coolant in the car, get it pretty close to, uh, pretty close to full and then the fucking radiator is leaking. I got a, a big hole in the radiator. I don't even really know how that happened to be honest, but somehow the radiator got punctured and it was just spitting cooling out. So I had to buy a new radiator. So that set me back also. I finally got that and put that in the other day. And then now today we needed to drop the fuel tank to put on that evap line that runs to the fuel neck. And Darius came over here and helped me with that. We got that done, got it knocked out relatively quick, um, quicker than I was expecting. Poured fuel in the car, no leaks. Already did the oil change and all that. Everything's connected. So now it's really just a matter of loading a new tune and trying to start it. And then once everything's running good and we make sure that uh, there's no leaks or anything, then we'll probably try to get the doors on also. That way that's done as well since uh, you know he's here to help. So um, we are hopefully about to start the car pretty soon, man. I'm gonna grab my tablet. We're gonna load a new tune and hopefully we will be starting this fucking car finally for the first time in like a year and a half it's been a long ass time um you know a lot of people been waiting on it i've been waiting on it um so hopefully you know if everything goes smooth the car's gonna crank up and everything's gonna be solid but what's we'll um, um there's a ground that i guess goes onto the engine mount that i did not put on i i had the one that's supposed to go on the engine mount on the alternator and then the alternator one was not connected um, so Darius noticed that before we started, I already loaded the tune and everything, but I didn't try to crank it yet. And we were kind of just looking over everything and he noticed that. And that was, I think, a problem that he had on his car. So that's what made him think about it. And, um, 
I'm glad he thought about it because I had it. I had it messed up. I didn't have it right. So the car probably wouldn't have started, or even if it did, then something wouldn't have been right. Because even when I was loading the tune, Darian, Darius and I both noticed that the uh, the fuel pump did not come on. Like you couldn't hear it come on. And that was something that you would always hear anytime you turn the ignition on. So it wasn't coming on. And we noticed the ground. He's all oh, that makes sense. That's why the pump's not coming on. So he just um, put it on and we turn the ignition on. The pumps come on. So we should be good now. So we're going to try cranking it up now. Let me just start the log real quick. Are you ready? I'm going to try something. I'm scared. I'm scared to try it. <laughs> Pull up power to it? Yeah. We'll be back in one moment. Go to the chat again.
you holding the gas here? Huh? You holding the gas? It seems like it was turned over faster. Get in here. All right, guys, so it's a few days later um, when we were last working on the car and we got it to barely crank. That was on Saturday. Today is Monday. Ryan already has a new file for me, so I am about to hook the car back up on the jumper cables, load a new tune, 
start it up, see if it uh, see if it runs better, see if it stays running, and then also if it stays running, which hopefully it does, if it stays running, then I'm gonna you know be able to check for leaks and whatnot, and um, and I'll definitely get a video of that startup. Um, I'm excited, man. Hopefully, I think this time there's probably a good chance that it stays running, so I'm really excited. But let me let me show you all the doors real quick, man, because me and Darius put the doors on. They're not done. I still gotta put the handles and stuff on them. But they are on the car, so I want to show y'all that real quick. All right, so y'all check this out, man. Sheesh, that is fire, bro. That is fire. Look at that. Damn, them holes are clean. So, got them on the car. Like I said, I don't have the handles on yet. But that's them on the car, dude. I'm going to keep them protected until I'm ready to put the handles on and whatnot. I want to get it running real good first. That way, um... Make sure there's no leaks and whatnot. And then I'll go ahead and throw like the fenders and stuff back on and the uh, rocker panels back on. But I just wanted to make this little video real quick before I turn the truck on because the truck's pretty loud. So I'm gonna turn the truck on to hook up to the jumper jumper cables and um and then we'll load this tune and we'll try starting it again, man. So hopefully today goes better than Saturday. Yeah, that's a little bit better angle, man. I'm trying to figure out, you know, where to put my phone and try to start it and all this at the same time. stay running which I don't think it's going to um, I'm just gonna go ahead and you know call it there and then I'll send the, the log over to Ryan he'll give me a new tune and um, this is already better than it was last time so it's gonna need more revisions for sure but if it doesn't stay running here I'm just gonna call it a day send Ryan over the log maybe he'll get it over to me again today because I am on my lunch break right now so maybe he can get me another one today and we can try it out later after work I'm gonna try one more time though
there you'll have it man it actually ran on that last startup and stayed running for a good bit obviously it's still going to need some tweaks for sure on the startup tune um so i'm gonna send this this log over to ryan i did it all on one log so he's gonna have a lot of data to go off of um everything looks pretty good man um i do have a leak it's an oil leak it's coming from the valley cover so not too big of a deal um i probably just need to maybe throw some rtv or something on it or maybe torque it a little bit better maybe i kind of messed up on torquing it i have a feeling that it's coming from the little adapter that we have for the um oil pressure sensor i have a feeling that's what it's from um so regardless it's not that big of a deal i either need to just tighten the little adapter better or i need to just maybe throw some rtv on the valley cover so either way not a big deal very obvious leak it's not a huge leak so um easy fix not worried about that finally put some heat in the motor man finally put some heat in the motor got it to run for a good little bit and um yeah we're just now it's just a matter of tuning man it's just a matter of tuning everything it was running good oil pressure solid um oil pressure was actually pretty high until you know the oil started getting kind of warm then it started going down to like a normal operating pressure and man bittersweet moment man bittersweet moment a year and a half the car's been down i know y'all been missing the car i've been missing the car um been fighting a lot of dumb issues with the car when i was putting it together seems like a lot of those issues are done i do like i said i do have that little oil leak not that big of a deal i'll fix that no problem and um yeah man i gotta get back to work so that's gonna be a wrap for this video man it's just tuning right now so i'm sure i'll make more videos um throughout the tuning process but as of right now you know that's gonna be the end of this video and i'm gonna try to post this as quick as i can whether it's today or tomorrow i'm gonna try to post it as quick as i can man so y'all bear with me i appreciate everybody that has stuck with me on this channel even though the car's been down you know i've still been trying to provide some type of content for y'all as we go even though the car is down but um we're back baby we're back it's time to put in some work it's time to get back out there get back to racing like we used to man and like i said just put in some work rep gpi fresh build sounds nasty and i'm excited bro i'm so excited if y'all aren't subscribed bro subscribe right now subscribe man because we're coming back and we're gonna put stupid work in i'm telling y'all we're gonna put stupid work in so don't sleep on me don't sleep on me a lot of people been sleeping on me while the car was down a lot of people talking hella shit while the car is down now that i got oil pressure watch out that's all i gotta say watch out man so i'll catch you on the next video y'all take it easy and like i said make sure y'all subscribe see you on the next video